Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to go over the advanced settings of the ASUS RT-AX82U router. Now this router is so advanced that if I make a, a complete video of all the advanced settings, the video is going to be two hours long. So what I did is I, I'm going to like distribute it or separate them in multiple videos and go over one thing, one topic at a time. The most important topic that everybody is having problems with and they're reaching out for help is the compatibility of this brand new router with legacy devices, with older devices. What to do to make it compatible. So watch this, it's very important. Thank you. So in order to make the router compatible with older devices, we need to uh, have the settings, more advanced settings disabled. So basically, uh, especially um, uh, the 802.11ax, 802.11ac settings, you need to leave it at automatic, not force enable it because that will make it less compatible uh, on the devices that do not use OFDMA. OFDMA stands for orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. So basically what that is, let me let me give you like a little uh, <coughs> instructions of what that is. The older router technology, the, the way the frequency would go, it would go like, uh, you know, no, this doesn't work. Let me get another pin. The frequency would go like this and you know you, they, they couldn't add another frequency because it would interfere and overlap and then the MIMO came in the market the MIMO was uh, allowing frequencies to go over the same channel but in separate bursts of data separating each one uh, in, uh, from each other so that they wouldn't interfere now the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing the way this works is this will go let's say you have a frequency like this then you have the second frequency like this and then you have the third frequency like this so basically the way this works is that always uh, the the peak of one frequency will result in the other frequencies being zero, the peak of this one resulting uh, the other ones to be zero, and same, same thing with a third frequency. Now my drawing is not correct, because if you, if, you, if you look here, the peak of this may be zero for, for these guys, but the peak of this guy is only, th this is zero, the blue is not zero, the blue is negative here. So my drawing is not good, but all I'm saying is that the peak of one frequency equals to the zero of the other one, that is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. So for this, you have to have a decoder and the recipe, receiver uh, wireless card. So that's why when this, when the frequent, when the communication over the Wi-Fi is through OFDM, um, uh, then uh, you cannot have uh, legacy devices work. That's why you need to disable this in order for the legacy devices to work flawlessly. So to do that, what do you do? You go to the uh, wireless setting page, you go to the uh, advanced settings, and advanced settings, you go to wireless, and you need to turn this off, choose 2.4 gigahertz. You need to make sure this is disabled, uh, which is 802.11ax. Wi-Fi 6 mode is disabled. Wi-Fi Agile Multiband is disabled. This uh, Agile mu Multiband is if you have multiple uh, like uh, access points. Uh, for example, in hotels, uh, this is what they have. They have multiple access points. And then as you walk from, uh, from corridor to corridor, room to room, you're jumping from one access point to another access point. And with this technology, it will jump very quickly without any uh, loss of internet connectivity. Um, target wake time you need to disable and you need to disable protocol management frames all these uh, seven things you need to disable to make this compatible with older devices now if you look at the actual uh, router 
basically uh, all those uh, things that I mentioned there this is the actual router page so basically this is disabled this is disabled and this is disabled and uh, you know so basically everything that you saw there is disabled however however keep in mind I'm at 5 gigahertz right now you have to be at 2.4 gigahertz because legacy devices cannot go to 5 gigahertz anyways so you have to be at 2.4 gigahertz and then change all the settings accordingly uh, to the according to the diagram I hope uh, this was uh, something educational and you learned a thing or two from this. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm also going to make additional videos for other features, advanced features of this amazing ASUS RT-AX82U router. Thank you.